Hey guys, first of all, I'd like to thank you for going ahead and getting this far. And I really want to make sure you get a lot out of these 10 tips. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start with tip one, which is on Gmail. Now, maybe you're asking, why do I use Gmail over Yahoo? Or why do I Alrighty, so here we are on the main page of gmail.com. Simply all you got to do is open up your web browser and just type in gmail.com and it's going to bring you to this page right here. Uh, then is, you just got to go ahead and type in your username and password. Now, say you don't have an account, um, what you would do is just simply go up here to the right and click on where it says create an account okay I know some of its cut off because of the recording but it says create an account you would just click there in the little red button um, and then it's simple it's just basically like creating any other account once you go ahead and get that you can go ahead and log in once you have a username and password so let's see mine I'm gonna go ahead and log in with mine so give me one second alright so now I type my information in there and we're just gonna go ahead and click on sign in and I don't want to remember the password. Alright, and now it's going to go ahead and pop us up this screen. Um, this is actually just an example account. I haven't been into this one for a while. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. You can actually fill in your mobile phone number and your recovery email address if you want to go ahead and do that. In fact, I do recommend it, um, but I'm not going to do it right now. So we're just going to click on Save and Continue to keep going through. And we'll give it a second and go ahead and pop up. Alright, here we are. We are in the email account. Now, as you can see, I've only used this like once, okay? So, um, I just still have it and I just wanted to use it for this example. I don't use this one on a regular basis, but it is good to show you an example. So, what we're going to do here is simply the inbox, okay? This is the inbox is what we're in right now. Um, Google Buzz, it looks like they want to tell me something about a settlement. Um, I, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, moving on, say you want to star something, say there's for something particularly that uh, you want to come back to at a later date, you can just click on the star here, and then right here it says starred. If you click that, that Google Buzz will pop up in there. Uh, let's see, and then also say you want to go ahead and create a folder um, for something you create. Let's, so let's go ahead and use Google Buzz. We'll just go in here and check it go up here and put move to and then you'll just type in let's say Google buzz okay then you'll click it and uh, you can just click on create and bada bing bada boom see where it says Google buzz down here on the left side that's it now we click on it Google buzz that email that you just saw is gonna go ahead and actually pop up in there um, you can also change the collar and different things of your little buttons here if you want to do, do so so also another thing you need to know as far as sending mail you can just click on compose um, whoever you wanted to send it to you would just type in the to field up here um, you got your add CC and, and add BCC there's your subject line uh, attach a file very simple you just click on it and click browse and it's gonna pop up a little window here and you're gonna find the file you wanna send or if you just wanna create a short sweet simple email there you go there's your body field pretty simple huh anyway now I was telling you earlier right here in the documents this is where the uh, um, all the information is as far as the Excel and like the Microsoft Word type of stuff and we'll go ahead and give that a second to pop up 
But as far as the actual email part is concerned, there's not much more I could tell you. It's actually pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but it's one thing, tip, it's one tip that I really want you to get familiar with. Email is email, but more so than anything, I want you to get familiar with how to use the document side. Um, it's extremely, extremely critical. I mean, and you can be on your computer, you can fill out the information, go to somebody else's computer. You don't have to deal with taking a flash drive with you or whatever. I use it all the time. I think it's a fantastic tool to go ahead and use. Um, if you like to keep calendars on paper, in other words, you like to keep a little planner with you, that's fine. If you like to keep it on your computer, you can use um, the Google Calendar, which is located right up here on the top as well. Um, that's totally up to you, whatever you like to do. But that's pretty much it for that. Now if we go over here to the Google Docs, you can also get to Google Docs by google.com forward slash docs. You could do that. Um, it's totally up to you, whatever it is that you want to do though. Now. Uh, see in this one once again as an example I don't have anything in here now what you can do is just go ahead and click on create and then it's going to ask you what you want to create do you want to create a document which is like Microsoft Word do you want to create a presentation which is similar to PowerPoint um, do you want to create a, a spreadsheet which is basically the same thing as uh, Microsoft Excel then you can create a form say you want to type up a bunch of questions and have somebody answer them that's what the form is for uh, drawing I've never really used that I haven't used table or collection. I'm guessing collections like for pictures and things like that. Now, guess what? This is also compatible with Microsoft Office. So, for example, you want to upload a Microsoft Excel a document that you want to create right here. Click on it. It'll upload it right into here. Bada bing, bada boom. You'll have it sitting in front of your face. Really awesome tool. Hopefully, you see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, now, let's see here. What else is interesting? Those are the main things that I use it for, to be honest with you. Um, you can actually add contacts and all that good stuff in here as well if you want to go ahead and do so. All you would have to do is go back over here to the email part, okay, and then go over here to contacts. You can just click on contacts, and it should pop up a place here. Give it a second. Alrighty, there you go. Now you see, sometimes you'll get emails and they'll go to your spam folder and different things like that. But if you add them to your contact list, they're not going to do that. So let's go ahead and click over here on the left where it says new contact. And then it's going to pop up a box that will allow you to add the information in there. Say, um, say that email was john at gmail.com. Okay, that would be the email. You can add a phone number, the address, birthday. Uh, let's say their U URL was uh, www.john.com. There you go. That's the URL. Uh, let's see. Their name is John. We just figured that one out. And then there you go. All you have to do is click on Add. Um, we're not going to do that for, for this one, but, but it was kind of an example. Um, anyway, let's go back over here and um, show you a couple other things. What we're going to do is show you a couple things in the settings field up here because there's a couple things that I think personally, in my opinion, um, are actually pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and show you how this works. Alrighty, now here we're in the settings. You're going to just basically look through this information. Um, it's quite simple to, to mess around with, turn it yourself. In fact, I could sit here and explain it to you all day, but you're probably not going to know much. You might know 10% of what I talked about today, <laughs> but you just have to learn it yourself, kind of. Now, you know, at the bottom of people's emails, they'll have their signature. Uh, like, for example, my name Nathan Wright. Uh, they'll have some sort of a closing and then they'll have their website or whatever they don't type that in there every time guys all they do is go right here where it says signature and then they click this little box here and they'll type something in there and say it's uh, Nathan Wright say um, oh here let's do something different here we'll do something like take care and God bless this is the one that's in mine um, we'll go Nathan Wright. Then we'll do like the you would be like the Facebook address, and then you can do like your Twitter address, and you can do your phone number if you wanted to do so, and then also you could do a website if you had one. But uh, that's pretty much how that works. Now you can go ahead and set up where you have a picture. Okay, if you go ahead and click on select a picture, that'll pop a picture in there for you. Now, uh, let's see, accounts and imports. 
Not real important right now. That'll be something we can teach at a later date. This is just an introduction. Um, forwarding and in, in other words, if you want to forward your email address, you can go ahead and look into that. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. I think I've done a good bit of. I, I've just went over this information. You can come in here and kind of learn. Uh, we're going to actually set up a set up. Uh, we're actually in the process of setting up a different little little tool that allows you to. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say it like that. We're actually in the process of setting up another product that allows you to go in and actually detailly watch everything that we're doing and go through it in a in in depth detail. Um, and we'll be coming out with that soon. So hopefully you're excited over that. Uh, we sure are. I can say that. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. We're going to go ahead and leave it here, and we're going to go ahead and continue on to step two. So we'll see you there. Take care.